Volkswagen Polo sedan is an example of successful adaptation of a car on a global platform to the conditions of a specific market, with the organization of local production. With all the outward resemblance to the progenitor, the fifth generation Polo hatchback, European assembly, our sedan has a lot of differences, most of which relate to the chassis. Therefore, we will talk about the features of the Russian sedan. The Germans approached the refinement of the Polo so carefully to our conditions that they missed the frisky Koreans, who in the same period brought out the mega-successful Hyundai Solaris and Kia Rio. The late restyling of the Polo in 2015 and the operational release of the second generation of Solaris slash Rio only widened the gap. However, Polo sedan is still in steady demand, including in the secondary market. A good reputation is confirmed by its demand by taxi companies. With this in mind, be very careful when choosing a used option and talking to sellers, especially if the odometer is 100,000 kilometers. There are many non-genuine Polo parts on the market. However, you should buy them selectively. For example, you can safely take non-original suspension parts from famous manufacturers, but the internal CB joint, tripod in the case of automatic transmissions, must be native, even if used, since any substitutes have an extremely small resource. It makes no sense to buy non-original body parts. Native hardware has adequate price tags while very good quality, especially in terms of corrosion resistance. Weak spots. Sometimes the paint on the roof above the windshield peels off due to active sandblasting. This applies to a limited number of cars. A very high mileage of the car can be given out by the corners of the front fenders peeled off from sandblasting in the area of backslash U200 B backslash U200 junctions with doors slash thresholds. The main cause of front wiper failure is souring of its trapezium bushings. For some unknown reason, this happens in the summer and in hot weather. The main thing is to service the trapezoid on time, otherwise the bushings will turn sour so much that the assembly cannot be disassembled without breaking. Lamps dimensions in the headlights have to be changed very often. Servicemen could not identify the exact reason for the short period of their life. The upper headlight mounts, lugs, are rather flimsy, break from a light blow. There are cheap Chinese mount kits on the market. The plastic front panel, TV, bursts even with a slight external impact. It is enough to carelessly poke into a high curb or a frozen snowdrift. If a crack forms in the place of the supports, cushions, of the radiators, then the heat exchangers can eventually be lost in the truest sense of the word. The main cause of front wiper failure is souring of its trapezium, bushings. For some unknown reason, this happens in the summer and in hot weather. The main thing is to service the trapezoid on time, otherwise the bushings will turn sour so much that the assembly cannot be disassembled without breaking. Even on newer vehicles, fuel lines can rattle at their attachment points near the bulkhead of the engine compartment. There is a resonating plastic sound in the cabin at certain engine speeds. It is treated by sealing fasteners by any means at hand. Small stones quickly jam the honeycombs of the radiator of the air conditioner, so you need to install a protective mesh in the bumper grille. It is advisable to wash heat exchangers every 60,000 kilometers. The first symptom of radiator contamination is the rapid departure of Freon, the need for frequent refilling of the air conditioner provoked by a significant increase in pressure in the circuit due to poor airflow to the heat exchanger. The lock cylinder on the driver's door is rather weak. It wears out pretty quickly due to constant use on cars in cheap trim levels, without remote control of the central lock. In frosts, the risk of breaking it when cranking is especially high. Effective prevention for a significant extension of the life of the larvae has not yet been invented. The paint quality of the Polo is good, as is the corrosion resistance. Careful adaptation of the car to Russian conditions affects. Polo is protected from corrosion no worse than the more expensive models of the concern, and in its class compares favorably with many competitors. On pre-styling machines, a lock cylinder was installed on the trunk lid. She does not live long, either wears out quickly, or is tightly clogged after a couple of seasons. Engines. The atmospheric engine 1.6 of the CFNA series, 85 and 105 horsepower works on pre-reformed machines. The difference in power is achieved only by the corresponding firmware version of the control unit. The main and unpleasant feature is the knock of pistons when shifting on a cold engine. It goes away when it warms up. Basically, this backing vocal appears after 50,000 kilometers. Since April 2013, the manufacturer began to install upgraded pistons, but this did not help. 
The knock is present even on the pre-reform machines of 2015 and those for which the old piston was changed under warranty. But the piston knock does not lead to significant wear of the cylinder mirrors, many engines run up to 400,000 kilometers without overhaul. This confirms the experience of taxis. Corresponding marks are clearly visible in the piston repositioning area, which are easy to detect with an endoscope already at a mileage of 100,000 kilometers. At the same time, they progress slowly and do not develop into bullies. Even on engines with high mileage, the knock goes away after warming up. Here, a similar story pops up in memory with the Ford Duratec 1.6 TBCT engine. It also works noisily and the piston starts to rattle at short runs, which does not really affect its resource. Many owners confuse the sound of a piston with the noise of a worn timing chain. It is noticeably lengthened and requires replacement only closer to 200,000 kilometers. At the same time, only isolated cases of its jump or brake were recorded. Hydraulic compensators contribute to the vocal part of the motor. After 30,000 kilometers, they begin to make more active noise in the cold. This is a feature of the work. It is not necessary to change them because of such noise. The water pump along with the hinged belt and rollers are consumables. Usually they are changed at 60,000 to 90,000 kilometers. And it is important to update everything together. When replacing only the belt and rollers, the owners return to the service with the current or buzzing pump after a couple of thousand kilometers. A common antifreeze leak is a plastic tube located behind the intake manifold. Very often it has to be changed after 50,000 kilometers. Often, the exhaust manifold does not live up to 100,000 kilometers. The connection of the channels from the second and third cylinders cracks. The price of the original collector is high, 70,000 rubles, so the owners prefer a domestic-made replacement unit, without a converter. This anti-environmental step is taken out of desperation. The new native collector will have to be changed again after 100,000 kilometers, and it is impossible to successfully repair it, the metal is too thin. Another common source of increased exhaust system noise is the exhaust pipe corrugation that burns out over time. A few years ago, there was a frequent operation to replace the left engine mount. The native pillow wore out literally after 10,000 kilometers, as indicated by the characteristic vibrations when starting the engine. The unofficials put up a non-original support and thus removed the problem once and for all. Now the flow of such machines has practically come to naught. The restyled Polo has an updated atmospheric engine 1.6 of the CWVA series, 90 and 110 horsepower. The power depends only on the firmware version. It belongs to the more recent EA211 family. The engine is free from the shortcomings of its predecessor CFMA and has a timing belt drive. Compared to the chain predecessor, the CWVA motor is quiet. Not without drawbacks, CWVA is characterized by increased oil consumption, with the high probability you will have to add one liter between maintenance, which decreases one after 30,000 kilometers, but still remains uncharacteristically high for an atmospheric engine of this volume. At the same time, about every tenth unit does not observe oil consumption. Perhaps this is how the features of selective assembly manifest themselves. To date, the mileage of cars with this engine is not too high, but you can rely on the positive experience of taxi companies that employ heavier third-generation Octavius. They began to put CWVA on them much earlier. So far, he has not been marked by any weaknesses, except for increased oil consumption, and requires only routine maintenance. The supercharged 1.4 engine, 125 horsepower, of the CZCA series has been available for the Polo since 2016. It belongs to the EA211 family, like the naturally aspirated 1.6 CWVA engine. According to the reviews of officials and independent service stations, the new generation engine line has become much more reliable. For example, the 1.4 CZCA engine causes noticeably less complaints than the 1.4 Saha, 122 horsepower, which was installed, for example, on the 6th generation Golf. However, any modern supercharged engine has standard weaknesses, requires special attention during operation and increased attention in diagnostics when it comes to a used car. Transmission The 7-speed DSC D0200 dry clutch robot is paired with a 1.4 supercharged engine. In the past, this box caused a lot of trouble but the manufacturer has corrected a lot of shortcomings and increased the resource of its individual components. It began to be installed on the Polo sedan only in 2016, by which time it had undergone several major upgrades and repeated software updates. 
The main malfunctions of the DQ200 are rapid wear of the clutch and shift fork bearings, as well as mechatronics failure. The box is designed for a maximum torque of 250 newton meters and is installed on larger and more powerful models of the concern. Therefore, the global soars of the DQ200 concern Polo with its not the most forced engine to a lesser extent, but you still need to be prepared for them. The clutch has been upgraded several times, and now its average resource is very close to 100,000 kilometers. Unofficial services take about 55,000 rubles for its replacement. The mechatronic still behaves unpredictably and can die on any run. Replacement will cost about the same 55,000 rubles, however, some specialized service stations repair it for significantly less money. Most often, the bearings of the forks of the sixth and reverse gears wear out. There is their original repair kit on the market. Replacement work costs 40,000 to 45,000 rubles. The mechanical part of the robot, components of a conventional MCP, go for a long time and rarely require attention. The main thing is to change the oil in it at least once every 50,000 kilometers. At the same time, it is important to fill in approximately 2.1 liters, and not the officially recommended volume of 1.7 liters. Excess oil will not harm the unit at all, on the contrary, it will extend the life of the mechanical part, eliminating oil starvation. The inside of the 02T 5-speed manual is no problem unlike the external parts for shifting and gear selection. After about 150,000 kilometers, the cables wear out, the rocker becomes loose and the intermediate plastic lever on the box body breaks. The first two malfunctions cause a decrease in the clarity of the inclusion of all gears, but the wear of the intermediate lever manifests itself in two ways. There is a difficult inclusion of either the upper or lower row of gears by selector. That is, for example, the first, third and fifth steps are stuck perfectly, and the second and fourth, with effort, or vice versa. The six-speed manual is paired only with the supercharged 1.4 engine. The demand for such a modification of the Polo is extremely low, very few cars were sold, but the reliability of the unit can be judged by other models of the German concern. Even on heavier vehicles with more powerful engines, this box does not cause much trouble. The six-speed automatic Eisen TF-60-09 series belongs to the cast of successful and reliable units. In addition, on the Polo, it is paired only with low-powered 1.6 naturally aspirated engines, so it is very difficult to kill this box. The main thing is to prevent overheating due to a lack of oil, which occurs mainly due to the sloppiness of the driver. In this case, it will not be economically feasible to repair the box. With adequate operation and an oil change every 60,000 kilometers, this machine has served faithfully for a long time. The inner CV joint of the wheel drive, which is installed on cars with automatic machines, is a tripoint type. On Polo, this unit usually has to be changed closer to 100,000 kilometers. Fortunately, it is sold separately from the drive. When it wears out, a noticeable vibration appears at high speed. The interior of the Polo is solid. Its firmness is checked up by operation in a taxi. In the cabin, crickets breed reluctantly. Comfort, at a high level, with an eye on the class of the car. So long. The driver's door window regulator often lives its own life. This is mainly manifested in the fact that when lowered, it only works after holding the button for 10 seconds. The plastic steering wheel wears out fairly quickly. Leather begins to give up only after 100,000 kilometers. Some owners had time to change it under warranty on small runs, but these were isolated cases. The heating elements of the front seat cushions do not differ in longevity. Over time, they give up under human weight. The original pillow heating element is available as a separate spare part, but a little expensive. The price is about 8,000 rubles. Refrigerant pressure sensor failure is a common problem. Because of this, the air conditioning compressor stops turning on. The sensor is sold as a separate spare part, and inexpensively. It is rare to have to change the compressor clutch which reports the problem with an annoying rumble when it is turned off. For some unknown reason, this trouble happens much more often with the Skoda Rapid Platform Liftback. Suspension and Braking System The front stabilizer struts are frank consumables. Usually they are enough for 30,000 kilometers. And the creak of the stabilizer bushings is a feature of the pre-reform Polo. And it is not clear why they start to creak. When visually inspected, the removed bushings never show obvious signs of wear. Sometimes a creak appears after only 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers after replacement. This happens more often in the winter. 
Front and rear shock absorbers are enough for 100,000 kilometers. By this run, the A-pillars lose their effectiveness, compress very easily, and the rear ones are almost empty, with no visible smudges. Tie rods last a long time, change them extremely rarely. Tips are updated about once every 100,000 kilometers. Rear wheel bearings require replacement at about 100,000 kilometers. They come assembled with hubs, so original parts are expensive. It is better to buy a native spare part than one or another substitute, which is slightly cheaper, but goes very little. The rear brake mechanisms on cars of the first years of production were criticized due to poor efficiency. In mid-2011, the manufacturer revised their design and also changed the beam, and after the upgrade, the problem disappeared. The resource of the rear silent blocks of the front levers is about 100,000 kilometers. Ball bearings usually survive this milestone with a large margin. When silent blocks are worn out, it is much easier and ultimately more profitable to change the lever assembly. Its price is 2,000 rubles. The steering rack on pre-styling cars starts knocking after 30000 km. The right support sleeve made of plastic brakes. The bulkhead with the replacement of the sleeve with the fluoroplastic one is inexpensive. This operation can even be called maintenance of the assembly. Reiki tapping appears on small irregularities, calm. The final verdict is made on the lift when checking the backlash. The rear drum brakes are whimsical. It makes sense to carry out preventive maintenance, disassembly and cleaning after each winter season. Otherwise, dirt accumulates in the mechanisms, rattle begins. As a result, it is often necessary to change pads with little wear, which could still serve. On cars manufactured before mid-2011, with brakes of the old design, after 100,000 kilometers, the brake cylinders begin to flow. Polo sedan is rightfully one of the top three class leaders. It has good liquidity and, in terms of consumer qualities, is not far behind a couple of Solaris slash Rio of the first generation. However, the Koreans of the second generation left the Russified German quite far. In the secondary market, Polos are in demand in almost any configuration. Only basic versions without air conditioning and deformed 1.6 engines, 85 and 90 horsepower, should be avoided. They were bought mainly by taxi companies, and almost no one needs cars without air conditioning. Equally well-sold versions with mechanics and with the gun, cars with climate control are valued. Depending on the year of manufacture, this option adds up to 70,000 rubles to the price of cars with conventional air conditioning. By the way, this alignment is typical not only for Polo. I recommend considering cars with a manual transmission no more than 500,000 rubles. A reasonable ceiling for versions with a gun is 600,000 rubles. It is better to choose a car in a good configuration will be more pleasant to drive, and it will be easier to sell later. Such cars, especially with a gun, lose less in price than others. And carefully study the history of the car, because the Polo sedan is one of the most popular taxis.